Let's explore how to use the HP50G equation writer with complex numbers. This is the circuit we will be working on. The reference node and nodes 1, 2 and 3 and the branch currents have already been chosen. We want to compute V0, which is the same as V1 in this case. The equation writer in the HP50G takes complex numbers only in rectangular mode that is right. So that means that any complex number that you need to type in, you have to make sure you present it to it in rectangular form. The good news? You do not need to type the parentheses around a complex number in the equation writer. No, you don't. You type the real part, the comma, and the imaginary part, and as soon as you type the next symbol an addition, a subtraction, an equal sign, the calculator will add the parentheses automatically. That's sweet. Well, the first thing is uh, to take those phasers and write them in rectangular mode. 8 with 90 degree amps, uh, that is 0, 0,8, right? 24, 0, uh, 24 volts with 0 degrees, that is just 24. I don't even bother writing that as 24, 0,0 and 4 amps with 0 degrees, that is, that is 4. Well, we are ready. We are almost ready. But before before we start, so before we start typing on the equation writer, make sure that flag 27 is unchecked. Otherwise, your complex numbers will appear in binomial form. 3 plus J5 will not show as parentheses 3 comma 5, which is the way I prefer, but it will show as 3 plus 5i, which I find annoying mostly because the real estate of our screen is rather small and anything else unnecessary will use a needed space. Also set the calculator to work in degrees and in polar form. Strange, right? So we're going to enter complex numbers in rectangular form but I'm asking you to set the calculator to work in polar form well, it's because at the end of all the typing, we will be solving equations and the equations will give us either currents or voltages and all of those are phasers and phasers carry information for us in polar form, RMS values and phase shifts. That is why. Now the equations. Let me bring in the calculator and type three KCL equations, one for node one, one for node two and one for node three. Let's go to the equation writer and we start writing. For KCL1, we have the current on the top, currents entering the node 1, 0, 8. I just write 0, comma, 8. The calculator adds the parentheses, and not me. And uh, then right arrow and uh, equal sign. That is equal to the currents leaving node 1, and those are, of course, uh, V1 divided by 2, that is a current in the middle branch, right arrow, plus V1 minus V3, L let me write that, V1 voltage of the origin minus V3 voltage of the destination minus a 24 volt source that is opposing that chosen direction for the current minus 24, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, to select, divide by the impedance. The impedance is 0, 0,3, 0, comma, 3, change sign. And that is our first equation. Let me type the others at full speed. Before we solve the new system, we go to mode, the CAA submenu, and there we make sure that only the approximate flag is on, perhaps the complex flag, but none of the other. Or you're going to get very strange, no found the name of the variable or something like that. There, solving that, that is the new value of V0 alias V3 volts with 53 degrees. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much and good luck with your exams.